Hello everyone and welcome back to my Senate uh, prediction videos where we take a look at the um, Senate races going on across the country in 2020 and we're going to now take a look at the Senate race occurring in the volunteer state. A seat currently held by the Republicans and Senator Lamar Alexander. Lamar Alexander will be retiring after uh, this term he's currently in, which is his third term. Um, in 2014, uh, when Lamar Alexander uh, ran for his third term, he won uh, with 30% of the vote. Um, he was really lucky in the fact uh, that he ran against a candidate uh, that the Democratic Party uh, disowned. Um, was a very controversial candidate. Um, and the Democratic Party basically disassociated with them, themselves with him. Um, in 2016, Donald Trump carried the state by 26%. And uh, I don't think there's any uh, doubt in anyone's mind in the 2020 election uh, that Donald Trump will carry this state again. Um, Tennessee had long been seen by some as one of the more moderate Republican states, one of the states in the South um, that even though it had trended red, um, was still um, a place where a moderate Republican could win. Um, the current Senator Lamar Alexander, Bob Corker, uh, the Haslams, um, and others um, who had were Republican and conservative, but were more of a moderate ilk, were willing to work across the aisle uh, to get things done. Uh, the new breed of Republicans, uh, which we'll address in a moment uh, when we discuss the Republican nominee, are not um, of that nature. They're very hardcore, and it's very clear that Tennessee is moving in a direction from away from Lamar Alexander's, more towards like my home state of Alabama which, if you're me, is very concerning because, I mean, it's, I see the damage that has brought to my state. So, uh, let's take a look at the two nominees. Uh, the Democratic nominee is an um, African-American um, environmental activist, uh, female, by the name of Marquita uh, Bradshaw. Uh, Miss Bradshaw was not actually the candidate that the National Democratic Party wanted to win uh, this election. Uh, there was a gentleman that was a veteran um, of the war in Iraq, uh, but they wanted to get the nomination. And um, I don't think that the Democratic Party actually thought that this he had a real big chance, uh, but they thought maybe he could keep it closer um, and um, make the Republicans spend some money in Tennessee that they might not necessarily spend um, and divert them away from a Maine or Arizona. Uh, not saying that Miss Bradshaw uh, has any knocks against her. Um, I think the National Party just viewed it as a bigger hill for her to climb and overcome. Uh, the Republican nominee is uh, Bill Haggerty. Uh, Mr. Haggerty um, is an interesting person, and I, I mentioned I would get into the uh, rightward shift of the Tennessee uh, Republican electric, and, and I really want to here. Uh, when Haggerty entered the race in 2019, it was pretty clear from the outset that the Republicans might be clear in the field uh, for him to avoid a messy uh, primary. Um, and uh, Donald Trump endorsed uh, Mr. Haggerty. Uh, he was, at the time, Trump's ambassador to Japan. Um, obviously, Haggerty would have to resign that position uh, to run, which he did. Um, in late uh, 2019. And for a long time, the primary in the Republican side was very quiet. Then after COVID hit, boy, did it get intensified. And Haggerty 
suddenly had a challenge from his right uh, in, uh, from a medical doctor by the name of Manny Secchi. Um, and Secchi attacked Haggerty uh, for supporting, oddly enough, the 2012 Republican uh, candidate for president, Mitt Romney. Uh, apparently now, uh, if you supported the 2012 Republican nominee over the Democrat incumbent president, Barack Obama, you're a secret liberal. Um, and Haggerty had to distance himself from his personal friend, uh, Mitt Romney, and really attacked Romney in some very ugly, vicious ways. I mean, the man raised large amounts of money for Mitt Romney, um, and, and it was really disgusting to see Haggerty uh, do this. Um, Haggerty also would uh, mispronounce uh, the doctor's name, uh, Seki, um, and Haggerty is not some yokel, okel, fall off the truck type of politician where you can be like, well, okay. Bill Haggerty has two degrees from Vanderbilt University, including a, 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 a law degree. He's a, he, he is a lawyer by training. Um, and, uh, it got really nasty in the Republican primary, uh, but in the end, um, the Trump endorsement, um, accusations that Seti, uh, was a never-Trumper, which is hard to believe, uh, the fact that Seti, uh, in 2008 had donated $50, uh, to a friend of his that was running, uh, for the House of Representatives, who just happened to be a Democrat, and if you donate to Democratic candidates, it's through Act Blue. So, Hackerty attacked him and said, oh, he's funding the rioters, even though Seki had very insinuous um, commercials against people that were marching for racial equality. Uh, just a very vicious primary. It also was one of the first battlegrounds in the 20. 20 presidential, uh, 2024 presidential contest. Uh, you had Ted Cruz on one side and Tom Cotton on the other. Um, and uh, Rand Paul was campaigning. I mean, it was just a boy. There was a short time there in Tennessee where it was an early preview of the 2024 uh, Republican primary. But Haggerty won, and he's now the nominee, and um, if you look at the ballots cast in the two primaries, about um, 650,000 or so was cast for Republican candidates, and 331,000 were cast for uh, Democratic candidates, about a 66 to 33 uh, percent, uh, respectively. I really didn't ever see this race being competitive, even, um, with whoever the nominee was. Um, I got my hopes up in 2018, uh, just like I did in 2006, um, when Phil Bredesen and Harold Ford Jr. were the two nominees. Um, because I believed, uh, that Tennessee might be a place, uh, where, you know, a Democratic candidate could pull off an upset win. I also thought the fact that Marsha Blackburn, especially in 2018, uh, was so ideologically to the right, um, that she might win off some Republican voter, or, you know, scare away some Republican voters. Uh, and she has only proved to be as feared in the Senate. But I failed to understand was how rightward rural Tennessee has shifted and how 
radicalized the Republican electorate in the state of Tennessee is at the moment. Uh, just look up and down the House roster and their votes. They're some of the least effective members of Congress. Uh, and you just look at the Senate. Take a look at the Senate in August of 2018. The two senators from the state of Tennessee were Bob Corker and Lamar Alexander. They were both moderate Republicans who at times were willing to speak out against Trump and Bob Corker who said that the White House was like an adult daycare. I mean, my, my. That is not going to be the case come January 2021. Uh, Marsha Blackburn will be the senior senator and Senator Bill Haggerty will be the junior senator. Uh, this will be a hold for Republicans. Uh, Haggerty will be elected to his first term. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, boy, if there's any state you want to look at for how rightward their voters have turned in a relatively short amount of time, Tennessee would be a good place. Uh, boy, they, they, they went really far to the right. I'll see y'all later.